mean rank of 11.87 and location 2 of a mean rank of 19.13 and that's statistically significant p less than 0 0.05 and again we can calculate a p val uh, an eta squared uh, 5.22 divided by 29 sample size 30 minus 1 is 29 so now we're getting an eta squared of 18 so 18 percent of the variability in the rank scores for drinking is accounted for by uh, group membership location 1 and location 2 so there's a statistically significant effect there now let's also change um, Let's select cases again. And this is actually the only useful <laughs> reason for doing this, is actually to compare group 1 and 3. But before I do that, I'm going to compare, um, I'm going to compare the um, group 2 and 3. So I'm going to go into Analyze and uh, Non-Parametric, K-independent samples, and I'm going to define my range again, and I'm going to compare 2 versus 3. OK, continue. And that is also statistically significant. So location 2 and 3 with mean rank 18.8 versus 12.2, which is fairly similar to uh, location 1 and 2 uh, mean ranks. Uh, so location 3 had a mean rank of 12.2, and location 1 had 11.87, and that's statistically significant. What 4.27, and again I can calculate the eta squared by 4.27 min uh, divided by 29. Whatever that comes out to, it'll probably be very similar. It'll be a bit smaller because the chi-square is 5.22. Now the last comparison is group location 1 and 3. Are they actually different from each other? And this is where my select actually becomes useful. I go into if, and I select groups, and I select group 1 or 3. I click continue and I click OK and so now I, I've got my two locations 1 and 3 selected but group 2 is deselected all right so it's got cross marks on it and it's the filter is 0 for that for those observations so now I can calculate another non-parametric Kruskal Wallace and uh, click OK. Uh, oops, I got to define my range. I want to define that 1 to 3, but it's actually going to ignore the uh, location 2. See how it came up with location 1 and 3? Because I deselected group 2. Well, it's not coming up in the analysis, and it's not statistically significant. So the mean rank of 14.87 versus 16.13 is numerically different, but it's not statistically significant. That difference and the chi-square is really small, 0.16. So if I divided that by 29, I would get the eta squared again, and that would be extremely small. Uh, the last thing I'm going to point out um, is something I'll, like, I'll mention on the, on the side is you can do these post-hoc analyses uh, I believe, uh, without any corrections to your alpha levels, when you have four or less groups in your Kruskal Wallace analysis, and I'm basing this on a on a test on a publication by Kesselman and his colleagues in 1979 that demonstrated that you can perform a one-way ANOVA with four means or less, and then follow that up with some post-hoc tests using the least significant difference, um, and not making any correction, no Bonferroni correction. So I'm extrapolating that from the Kesselman study, and I'll, I'll try to remember to put a reference to the Kesselman study in the summary to this video, and you can uh, just use that in your own research. The last thing I'm going to do is, uh, you don't get the medians uh, for this, um, for the Kruskal Wallace. When you get all the analyses, you're not actually looking at median drink values, you're looking at mean rank values. So when I um, calculated the ranks for my Levine's test, this is what it's performing the analysis on in a, in a more direct way. But most people are interested in the medians. They want to report, well, what's the median drink consumption for the two groups, rather than looking at mean ranks. It doesn't have any obvious interpretation. And the only way you can get that is by uh, splitting your your file. Uh, this is the quickest way to do it, I think, is compare groups across group, and then go into analyze descriptives, and then frequencies, and then drinks, and then unselect what I've selected earlier, and click on median. And this is going to give me my medians for the three groups. 
So the median drink consumption was three 